Yo, what's up? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to a quick Ableton Live video tutorial on how to make the balloon foghorn. Sounds a little bit like this. And it's pretty simple. It's really easy to make. All you need is a balloon and a microphone. So let's go check out the recording process. Very technical, very detailed, very serious. Okay, the next process is to clean up that audio. I've just got the audio inside of RX here. Super dope program. I'm just gonna select this right here, hit denoise. I don't even need to listen to it. I just know that's a dead space and all that noise I wanna get rid of. Hit learn on the dialog and click anywhere else. So it's everything is selected at this point and hit process. Okay, and here we go. Here's the new, the new audio. Let's listen. Sounds pretty good to me. And then what I would do is come over here and I'd write overwrite file because I don't need that older file. I need the new one. Or you can do export and save it as a WAV file and bring it into Ableton. But let's get into Ableton now. Here's the audio file that's nice and clean inside of Ableton. I just need to go listen to all of these and find the best one. I've already done that and I know that this hit right here is the cleanest. Um, I only use the GoPro audio or the GoPro microphone, which isn't the best microphone, and I also had a different microphone hooked up, but my internet is broken, and I have no way to get that audio from the other microphone into my computer. Long story short, we're gonna use the GoPro audio, and just for this fun type of project, I don't think it really matters. But this is the sound we're gonna use. Pretty sweet. Uh, I could just come in and kind of section it off there. And a good thing to do when you've sectioned off the, the sample that you want, just to right click and hit crop clips just so you have something small to work with. The next thing you're going to do is take a sampler and drop it on a new channel. Then take that clip and drop it in there and bring this over to right here, right where the file, uh, the sound is beginning. I'm just going to take this MIDI clip down here and let's see what that sounds like. Okay. So right now, I don't know what key that's in or what pitch that is or what note that is. So what I'm going to do is just drop a spectrum on there. Come into the audio effects spectrum, drop it on there. I'm going to play this sound and see what note it's hitting at. So I got right here, it's a C, C6. And the other point right here is a C5. So we can be fairly certain it's hitting around a C note. Uh, I'm just going to use C5 for the sake of argument. I'm going to come down here and bring this up to C5. Pretty cool. And the only other thing I want to do inside a sampler here is use the pitch envelope down here. And I'm just going to bring it up to about plus five semitones. And I, th I feel like it just gives a little bit of character, more character to the beginning of the sample. Because the beginning of the sample already has that kind of high pitch to low pitch. If we listen here. It's happening really quickly, but I think if we add just a little bit more to the balloon sound, it sounds more like a foghorn. The only other thing we need to do is just add some effects. What I did was use the saturator, rectify, but I brought it down to about six, and I brought it down to about 50% on the dry wet. That's still a little bit high, I think. Still cooking, so maybe three. Cool. Um, the other thing I did was put an EQ8 on the beginning of it, but I used something like the acoustic guitar. Pretty cool. And obviously some other effects you would want here are the ping pong delay. some reverb, something special, bright long verb, but again bring this down to about 25%. Pretty cool right? And if you wanted to turn down this feedback, and then the only other thing you'd have to do if you wanted to is just right click 
uh, after selecting everything and hit group and then map some of these parameters to some macro knobs you know obviously the ping pong feedback feedback dry wet drive dry wet uh, decay dry wet and maybe the EQ scale just in case and then we just the last thing we need to put on here is what I always do is the limiter just to make sure nothing bad is going to happen and then map the gain and then you just come in and re-input re the uh, the parameters that we like something like 3 50 percent feedback I don't know 35 percent 35 percent decay time just bring that up to about, I don't know, 3.7 sounds good. Dry wet, 25%. EQ, we want at 100%. Gain at zero. <laughs> Boom, there we go. Balloon Foghorn. That was fun. Totally useless, but fun to make. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Peace.